In this universe, there are four races, or factions. These are the choices you are given when you bring a Capsuleer to life. The Galente, the Caldari, the Minmatar, and the Amar. The Galente Federation have long held themselves to be New Eden's champions of liberty and guardians of the human spirit. Whether or not their history actually lives up to their lofty ideals, they are certainly the most diverse and the most democratic of the four empires. Unlike the Amar, who spread their culture with sword, the Federation's influence is felt throughout New Eden thanks to their vibrant entertainment industry and a flood of Galente brands. For much of the cluster, the news is synonymous with the scope. And Quaif is so universally beloved that it can broker peace agreements between the empires. Everything from cheap skin flicks to elaborate operas rolls out of Galenti Studios and floods into the New Eden airwaves. Almost any kind of luxury good is available to Galenti citizens who have the means. With that in mind, let's take a look at some of the sites you can find within its borders. At the center of that media juggernaut is the Impetus Corporation. And here, in the Toll System, is one of the centerpieces of their entertainment empire. This vast studio complex is like nothing I've ever seen. A hive of activity encompassing everything from studios and post-processing facilities to luxury residences and recreation facilities for the studio's box office stars. Not simply a studio lot, this is a studio metropolis. A marvel of modern technology that churns out the hollow reels that impetus sells throughout New Eden. Working here, among the company's best, is surely the dream of nearly every writer, producer, director, or actor in the cluster. Impetus elaborate productions aren't purely creative endeavors, however. Everything from the cheapest pornography to the most high-octane action blockbuster requires an army of technical workers and a vast logistical chain to make every shot memorable for a hungry cluster-wide audience. Here in Dodixie, a central trade hub in Galente space, Impetus runs a massive supply chain that feeds the hungry beast. While perhaps not as glamorous as a massive soundstage or a flashy special effects studio, these operations are just as important to the Impetus Media Empire. And there is no shortage of work here, even for Capsuleers. Today's audiences demand ever more exotic and action-packed fare, and some of this can only be provided by the pod elite. If you're looking for work, the Impetus agents that can be found at this site can surely provide. If you've ever had a complaint about a messy neighbor's backyard, imagine if that yard was the size of an entire moon. Here at this moon of Lear Sultan VI, Mamo Giri, an heir to the Fedmart fortune, one of Oprin's 100 wealthiest men of every shore, has assembled a vast collection of ships, structures, and other gadgets that he can often be found inspecting in his personal megathron. Concord does not mark this site on their charts, but if you can find it, you'll be able to see one of the rarest ships in the cluster. 
an Opix luxury yacht. Hidden somewhere among the array of random junk, within the debris field is also an acceleration gate that is rumored to lead to a more exclusive collection of prizes, one that Mamo is said to share with capsuleers who agree to do work for the eccentric retail magnate. While much of the entertainment that flows out of the Galente Federation is, if not family-friendly, rather focused on a broad appeal, and not particularly shocking. Not everything produced by the Federation's media conglomerates is so mundane. While the Caldari are best known for their splinters, blood sports, the Federation does produce similar programming. Here in PPG Tech XC is the site of the most well known of these Galente productions, The Legends Trial. Part of the reason this program recently moved its production to the region was to escape the various expenses associated with such activities in Galente space. The other advantage of hosting these prize fights in Cloud Ring is that it allows the producers to bring in a wider array of talent, including fighters who would be barred from competition in the Federation due to their criminal background. While the broadcast is sold to billions of people throughout the cluster, there's a sizable side industry in gambling surrounding the trial. And, since its move to Nullsec, this has come increasingly under sway of the various criminal cartels that inhabit New Eden. While the production has a substantial security force of mercenaries, the vast sums of money flowing through this competition make attempts to influence fights, directly or indirectly, a tempting prospect for the criminal element. The Federation's attempts to spread its influence are not always so subtle as spreading hollow reels and soft drinks throughout the cluster. Especially since the outbreak of hostilities with the Caldari state in the year YC 110, the Galente have increasingly used their methods, including propaganda, to sway the population of New Eden. Here in Orvol, at the Center for Analysis and Research, the Federation maintains a facility whose purpose is twofold. The first is to produce propaganda to both inspire the Galente public and to dishearten their enemies, the Caldari who can often be found in Placid, one of the most contested regions in the war with the state. This is especially important here, where Placid's Intaki population has been more open to Caldari overtures in the past. The second purpose is equally as important. The antenna arrays here reveal a communications hub that ingests a vast amount of traffic that is constantly trawled by agents of the Federal Intelligence Office looking for signs of enemy agents, terrorist plots, and who knows what else. Why such a facility operates so openly is not entirely clear. Part of the reason may be due to the fact that Federation agents have been known to hire capsuleers to do their work from here in the past. But if the Galente are open about their activity in Orvol, here in the Naghir system, they are most certainly not. Deep in space is an unmarked facility, which is only identified by a broadcast that constantly repeats the same message. Please be advised, we are here to protect the citizens of the Galente. Like the counterintelligence center, this installation is festooned with a multitude of antenna arrays and other communications gear. But if the Federation is so open about its counterintelligence operations elsewhere, why is this station so secret? 
The emergence of the Black Eagles in the last few years certainly makes one wonder if the purpose for facilities is not to keep an eye on the threats from the Caldari, but to keep Federation citizens in step with the government line.